In this video, I'm going to show you how to cut perfectly straight boards with a chainsaw without an Alaskan sawmill or any other attachment. It all starts with adding a level to the chainsaw. So I got a cheap level on Amazon, just a few dollars, and I screwed it into the top of the saw. And I set the saw down on a level surface just to make sure the air bubble was right in the middle. And if you look underneath the saw right there, the top of it, you'll see the screws coming through. But they're pretty snug, and after using it a few times, I haven't had it come loose at all, so it's working pretty well. Let's jump right into the action. So I'm following the line of the string, and I'm just going to be cutting out boards by freehand. And as I'm making the first line using the end of the saw, I'm watching the air bubbles in the level just to make sure that they're level. And you'll see I'm following a string. You could use a string, a chalk line, or really anything else that gives you a straight line. So I tied the string onto little nails, and I nailed the nail into the, uh, into the, into the log there. And once you get those first lines drawn, you can just finish the cut. If you see this board, this is the first cut, and this one is perfectly smooth. It really is about as easy as it looks in the video. It's not hard to get a straight and perfectly level board. So here's a more detailed look at how I'm, how I'm setting up the log. So first underneath, I added a couple wedges just to make sure the log wouldn't roll around. And then, depending on the size of the board I want to make, I just use a tape measure and measure in two, two and a half inches. And that's where I'm going to hammer the little nails that are attached to the string. One thing to consider after cutting each board is just make sure your log didn't go out of balance. So sometimes when you take a few boards off of one log, it can be a little heavy on one side and it can tend to rotate. So if you secure the log well, you should be fine, but you can just recheck um, after each cut. As for the saw, I'm running a Shindawa 59cc with an 18 inch bar and a standard chain. And this log is 15 inches at its thickest point. So like the first board that I cut, I'm just using the tip of the bar just to make a line and I'm going next to the string, not too close to the string that I might catch it, but just using the string as a reference point. And this board's about two and a half inches thick. And the first few inches of the cut are the most important because they set the, uh, the path of the bar for the rest of the board. So as I'm going here, I'm being very careful watching the bubble in the level to make sure it stays in the middle.
And it's good to have the log raised off the ground about an inch or more, because then when your bar goes through, it doesn't go into the dirt and dull your chain. When finishing a cut, I don't want to pull the board apart. I want it to just fall off naturally so I don't have any splintering in the wood. And even though this is just a chainsaw, this is a pretty smooth finish. There really aren't too many marks from the chain because the cut was so straight. And here's a look at the finished product.